Hi everyone, for those of you that don't know me, my name's Dev and for the next month or so I'm going to be sharing one or two minute tips for Revit uh, every weekday that I think you guys will find helpful. These tips are just some things I've learned um, over the past couple of years whilst working in the Revit trenches. These aren't career changing tips by any means, but I'm hoping for some of you they will help ease your pain when working in Revit, either through saving you time, allowing you to be more efficient or hopefully even showing you a few useful features you didn't know about. So the first one I have for you in the series is PyRevit Sync Views. So go to the link in the post or description depending where you're watching this and download PyRevit. There'll be a few tips on this series relying on this plugin slash extension so it's best to get it now. Okay so when you install PyRevit you'll have this PyRevit tab on top um, and for this project I'm just using the advanced sample project from Autodesk. So what I want to show you is the Sync Views feature uh, in PyRevit. So normally our views are independent in terms of location, no matter where we are. So say if we want to focus on the stairs, for example, or this area throughout our building across multiple floor plates, we'd have to go to each view and then move it across there. This is quite annoying, especially say if, if, you, know, if you have something like a reflected ceiling plan, but what you can do on PyRevit is hit sync views. Now all of our views in terms of location are synced. So say if I want to go down here to this stair, for example, the second floor, third floor, and the ceiling plan will all be in the same location. They're all synced. This even works, for example, for elevations. So if I wanted to go for this part on my elevation, but actually I want to see what this part of this building looks like in section, these are synced because they're in the same plane. And this is basically pretty much what this feature does. It's incredibly useful um, when you're working through just for quality of life, and it even works for 3D views. So. If I go here for 3D, for example, and then let's say this is the building, and now I want to view what it's like without the walls or you know the curtain panel, just to see the internal. Now these are both in sync uh, in terms of location. Why you find this helpful? I wouldn't know, but in terms of the feature, it's great. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to support the video. Cheers.